Good evening, everybody. It is, ooh, did not realize it was that late. 5.45. I have been pretty busy um, all day. <laughs> uh, work was actually busier than I've seen since I started. We're actually starting to see more people flow through our... I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> Our service line, um, <laughs> I haven't even figured out what to call it without accidentally giving away the name, but, um, yeah, I just call it our service line. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And then when I got off work, I had to run, uh, <clears throat> to Menards for a couple of things that I wanted for the house to help me make the house look a little bit more beautified. I'm trying to clean it up. Uh, tomorrow morning, it looks like it's going to be fairly decent until maybe about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm going to be outside trying to clean up um, my carport. And um, areas outside for curb, curb appeal factors. Um, I... I happen to catch a, a couple of old pictures of before and after of what the house, what the carport looked like before it started getting stuff collected on there. I know the park, carport has my garbage can, now the shed, um, my barbecue, because um, I got no other place that I can barbecue it without warping um, vinyl siding, is the only places on the carport. I have a table out there with two chairs for sitting. I want to clean up and make it look a little bit better than just a spot to dump stuff. Um, I'm realizing by looking at some of the old pictures before and after, like before we moved in, after we started moving in, and even just looking at the way the house has been looking since we first moved in, how it just kind of started getting stuff piled up. And I'm like, no. No, I do not like this. I do not approve of this. I want it to change. And whether Jerry wants it to change or not is not my concern anymore. Um, because it's like, I'm the one who moves around the house the most. I'm the one who does my fair share and then some of keeping the house clean and whatnot. And the only room... I. I decided that the only rooms that I am responsible for besides this office is the kitchen, the kitchen and living room at this point in time. Uh, once Jerry gets back up on her feet, I'm going to be like, um, the rooms you're responsible for is now the kitchen and living room because you're in there and you're going to be probably in there more than I am. And um, I have not rearranged the, uh, the kitchen the way I want to because... It, combination of I'm trying to focus on my stuff first and foremost um I have not talked about something with Jerry yet but I'm thinking about doing that pretty soon probably after the fact but I think I'm gonna go clean up and fix up the guest room so I can use it to sleep in um two reasons why one I'm not very comfortable on the new um bed Two, it gives Jerry Ann the room to roll around and do whatever she wants to do on a bed without having to worry about moving stuff around for me. And three, and f not really f foremost, but three is, how do I put this politely? Um, every night that I have had to crawl in bed, in this week alone, I've had to clean, even though I try to spread the covers out and I try to lay something down so she has a crumb catcher while she's eating. Last night, I found a whole bunch of crumbs in the bed because she had decided that she wanted a, she wanted Dairy Queen, which I was like, ooh, Dairy Queen. Um, I know what they have this time of year. They have their Pumpkin pie blizzard. I love pumpkin pie. I don't care. Pumpkin pie creamer. Pumpkin pie itself. Pumpkin pumpkin pie bread. Pumpkin pie 
pie. And Dairy Queen comes out with pumpkin pie blizzards. McDonald's comes out with wedges of pumpkin pie. Um, from this point till uh, to till December, I'm like <laughs> pumpkin pie. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> um, um, but I realize that. I can't go ballistic or bonkers over pumpkin pie anymore because it does have side effects that I'm not going to talk about here on camera. But, um, yeah, having too much pumpkin pie can be a um, not-so-fun night. So I try to calm myself down. Um, but... Things for me right now have been really good lately. I mean, especially after last night. After last night between the visit, the um, medication, and knowing that I can start now work. I can start now. I can start focusing now on my needs and understanding the trying to learn and understand what triggers me to have anxiety issues or highs and lows in my emotions. Um, I have to find, I have to look for a couple of different books. I don't even know where to look for them. Um, I can't even remember the authors and whatnot because he just said, you know, the doctor said, if you like to read, you might want to start reading various books on spotting anxiety or whatnot. Hold on a second, folks. Sorry about that interruption. Um, Mom called to say that she uh, saw a UPS back out or back into our driveway and honked their horn. But I didn't see a package out there. So, um... Hopefully it was one of my neighbors and not something for me that vanished very quickly. Um, so, wasn't in any of the usual spots. So, I might go out there in a few minutes with my shoes on to give a thorough uh, look around my front porch and, and carport entry points. Um... But yeah, sorry, um, I had to get my thoughts back in order. Yeah, ever since yesterday, I've been feeling much better. I mean, I'm I'm calmer than than usual. In other words, I don't get as anxious as quickly or as aggressively. Not as in I get aggressive, but the anxiety builds up to the point of like messing up the rest of my day type situation. I get that momentary like oh. Okay, let's just focus on what we got to focus on and, you know, things will be okay. So, I'm on, I'm, I guess the best way to say, the best way to say it is I'm on the ups. I'm on the mins. Um, <laughs> other than that, I don't know, I don't know what to call it. Other than I'm just feeling better about myself and better about what I'm doing and better about life in general. Um, so I'm not letting anything cause me anxiety. I, I am like, okay, I have to work tomorrow. Saturday morning when I wake up, I can do whatever I want to. What should I, what am I going to do that day? Well, after showing Jerry, um, pictures of the interior of the shed, um, we had talked in in length about how to optimize where to put everything. So I'm going to end up doing that tomorrow morning. And during the heat of the day, I'm going to I'm going to work on the guest room. Um, like I was saying before, the biggest issue I have right now with our arrangements or the way things are right now is um, not feeling comfortable in that bed because. Every little noise, ping, pop, movement, her rolling over, whatnot, um, does kind of disturb me and, and gives me a little bit of a, great, 
you know, I'm not going to get a full night's sleep or, um, hmm. or anything like that. Then the fact that, um, my mainstream doctor, um, she said take Benadryl at night to help me go to sleep. Well, the problem with that is, uh, yeah, it'll help me go to sleep. Usually, I, even without the Benadryl, I don't have problems falling asleep. The problem isn't falling asleep. The problem is staying asleep for the whole night. I end up waking up. And let's see. One day I woke up like two different times between 12 and 4. Um, this morning I woke up once at, at 12.46. And then at 4.05 or something like that. And just rolled over and... Mm. Mm, sorry, rolled over and went back to sleep for 55 minutes. But it's the broken sleep that's more of an issue than the getting to sleep. So it's like, I'm like, oh, great. Is it the situation in the bedroom? Is it anytime Jerry goes to wake up to use a commode or roll over or can't get the back to sleep, so she she doesn't wake me up with loud noise, but what it is is she puts on her earbuds and starts playing Harry Potter or something like that to help her fall back to sleep, but the, it's the light from her device that somehow ends up waking me up, especially if I'm on my right side facing towards her. Um, but other than that, everything seems to be fine. Uh, I mean, I get along with my coworkers. Um, don't have any problems with anybody at work. Um, I'm still learning the ropes. So it's like, okay, who am I supposed to be listening to? My direct supervisor or this person who's trying to tell me what to do or how to do something? Uh, my brain says my direct supervisor because... She's my direct supervisor. Everybody else is, I don't know. I don't, the only other two, the only few people that I know that are higher than my direct supervisor is, well, I can't give out their names, but um, they're both in the kitchen all the time. So, you know, but Otherwise, we we tend to have a good time. Um, of course, me the, of course with me the way I am, it's like I get done with all my prep stuff, and I still got time to do whatever, and I end up helping out with food prep for other for other food stations. So I keep myself busy, just because I don't want somebody to go. Oh, you got nothing to do? Well, let me give you something to do. No, let me look for something to do because maybe whatever you're going to give me to do is something I don't really know how to do, let alone want to do. Um, which, I don't know if there's anything I don't want to do. I want to learn everything. I want to move up as quickly as I can so that I know that they'll want me to come back next semester or next year or whatever um this because this coming weekend is going to be labor day weekend i have a three-day weekend which is great and then i found out something that just kind of go what made me go oh hmm i don't know if i like that idea but my particular workstation is the first workstation to close early for vacation time or holiday time or whatnot because we are not the busiest station so we get to we don't always get to stay open um like labor day um there are certain hours during labor day which is monday for certain food stations but not everybody's open so i'm kind of like oh so if they decide to close somebody down early for Christmas vacation is going to be us first. 
or if there's a reason to start closing down departments because of the pandemic or what or, or whatever reasons they they decide to start closing start closing down facilities my workstation is like one of the first ones they look at because we're not the busiest like for say just rough estimation we did about 50 55 people everybody else does twice if not three times more than that because of where we're where we are located no big deal I'm finding other ways to make money. In fact, you guys are helping. You guys have been a big help when it comes to a lot of different things. Not just, you know, viewership or or by viewing my videos, I get credited for that. When that's an income. And, you know, there for a moment... A week or two ago, I thought things were going to go down in the tanks because of my emotional unloading. And uh, not sure exactly what happened, but things started going back up. And I went, oh, phew, okay. Uh, now that I'm going back to my normal self and being less negative, um... Things are starting to go back to the uh, the excuse me <coughs> allergy season. Gotta love it. Never can tell when that's gonna happen. Um, I hate the ones that are really big and they like you can literally feel your whole spine just. Sounds like somebody took a thing of bubbles and twisted it and prrrrap. But, um, I, I've always tried to be as honest as possible. And I, I've always, shouldn't say always, when it comes to the negativity, I'm not always positive, but I'm not always negative. It kind of does this. And now that I know why, it's kind of like, oh, but anyhow, don't ask me the names of the medication because I cannot pronounce them. Um, and they're all the way in the other room. If I go to take them out of the room to read the bottle, my wife would be like, mm, what are you doing? Um, but like I said, um, yesterday I think it was, now that I picked up my medication today, I, uh, I am on a... The only way I can describe it is it's supposed to be a mood stabilizer. Or as I put it when I read the name to my mom and my mom looked it up in her medical dictionaries it's basically an industrial strength version of st john's wort which basically st john's wort is a natural mood it's supposed to be a mood enhancer it's supposed to help you with your good vibes i guess one a night was not doing the job so i've got a pill that's supposed to be a yeah Basically, the only way I could describe it is an industrial strength mood enhancer to help you have more stabilized moods, you know, moods instead of having such wide pendulum style mood swings. And then, of course, my um, my anti um, anxiety medication. So I'm on two more pills for. It said. Well the, doc, well, the doctor said, yeah, I can take them at nighttime because it says may cause drowsiness. Do not operate a motorized vehicle or heavy equipment. And, and I went, <laughs> yeah, I have to uh, chop stuff up and cut stuff up and use this thing to cut this up and use this thing to grind this. No. So I'm taking, a, taking that medication at nighttime so I don't either A, get into a car accident on my way to work, or chop off a digit. No, I don't want that. Uh, so I'm kind of like, yay. Hopefully, you know, once this start, starts 
building up or working in my system, I'll have much better times than before I had the medication. But anyhow, I'm going to let you guys go because this is two different videos and I don't know how long either one of them is. Well, this one is 15 minutes and I think the other one was close to 20. Um, but anyhow, that is my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop them in the comment box. If you're new to my channel and you're interested in some of the things that I have to deal with or the way I deal with them, um, you're more than welcome to hit the subscribe button. And um, after that, a little bell pop up, click on that bell. And once you do that, YouTube uh, lets you know when I put in my next video. Until next time, you guys have a good day. Good night, however you want to put it. Enjoy. Bye.